and that normally up until that time we use rifle guns which are said to be more accurate. But everyone's going to smoothbore now. And the G72 and all that class of tank, well certainly some of the early ones are just fitting up. The next tank that's, <coughs> that's actually come on while I've been talking is the A34 Comet. They were built by Leyland Motors and really not entered service until the very end of the war. But it was a tank which in its own right could take on a Tiger with a fair chance of knocking it out. That is if it got the first shot in, if it got the second shot in and that. And the Comet has, is powered by the Rolls-Royce Meteor V12 engine, basically the same engine that was in the Spitfire that was flying over us this morning. Supercharged for its little tank. It's got um, a version of Christie suspension, that is with springs bolted to the outside of the tank. It's about the last tank of any tank Christie suspension. After that, they really got too heavy. So it takes a five man crew, there's three men in the turret and two in the front of the hull, and it's armed with a 77mm gun, which is itself a cut down version of the drill. The comet's got a fantastic engine though, that meter engine. Uh, you may be able to see on the rear, there's two little fishtail exhausts, but basically there's no silencer at all. And uh, so you get that lovely rumble of the big petrol meteor as it goes around. 